Uh, by the way, I'm going to bore you to tears. Get ready. Buckle up. Hello, my name is Claudia Winkleman and I'm about to tell you five things you might not know about me. I mean, if you're related to me, if you live in my house, I mean, that would be weird because you probably wouldn't be watching this, but if you are, you probably know this about me. But for the other humans, if you're watching, I mean, it's up to you, uh, you might not know this about me. So the first thing I should probably say, and this is weird, but I think there'll be people who will be listening who will go, oh my gosh, I have that too, is I am addicted to lip salve. It's not normal. It's not like, yeah, I put on a bit of lip salve and then I forget about my lip salve. It's, I've just woken up, after I've brushed my teeth, I put on a lip salve, sometimes an amalgamation of different lip salves. Me and my cousin, she's adorable, she's called Sarah. She's super cool. Um, anyway, if you ever come across her. We always just give each other lip salve for our birthday, but like a different or a weird lip salve. Like she once found a lip salve that was flecked with gold. I don't know if it was real gold, but it felt magical and sometimes I would just touch it for extra power. So yeah, lip salve is, is, the, is the answer. The second thing you might not know, and this is really bad because I hope my kids never find this out. So we had a goldfish called Blondie, and Blondie lived for, I mean, a ridiculous amount of time. I want to say it was 58 years, but that's not possible because I'm 46. But like Blondie was always with us. We would take Blondie on holiday. We wouldn't, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just sort of making a point here. Anyway, Blondie, I can't believe I'm saying this, Blondie died. It was quite traumatic. The kids were quite little at the time and I, they said quite innocently, um, where's Blondie? And I said that he'd gone to Paris because he just, he'd never been. And he could speak French, but he loved mustard. Like he couldn't get enough of French mustard. And they were, they were like, the more I elaborated and they were like, well, this makes sense. And then they would go, they said one of them, um, my eldest said, so weird that Blondie hasn't been in touch, so I would have to go and buy from one of those like weird stalls postcards of the Eiffel Tower and send postcards from Blondie who was having fun in Paris. And I don't know when they stopped believing me and bearing in mind that my oldest child is almost 40. I mean, I imagine it sort of, it's happened. But yeah, that was, it was elaborate, it was weird. It got quite weird. So as you can see, I'm in the middle of what I'm going to describe as a fully blown midlife crisis. And I didn't know what to do. I'm scared of motorbikes, or I'm scared of any, any movement really outside. I like, well, I don't even like movement inside. But I thought it was like motorbike or a tattoo, but don't really, I'm not very good with pain, or colouring my hair. And my friend had her hair coloured like this, sort of dip dye, weird, messy, awesome. Um, and I said, right, I'm just going to do it on a whim. And I went and I did it. And now I rather, I sort of like it. I don't know, what do you think? Love it. Okay, you're nodding, so that's okay. Anyway, I, and I also I wanted something different because really I'm just a walking fringe. And I don't mind being a walking fringe, but I want to be a walking fringe with blonde bits in. I was slightly worried. I suddenly went, oh, uh, I've worked with head and shoulders before and they're going to be grumpy with me or just tell me to never call them again and to stop using it officially. And, uh, but they were fine. And they said, don't panic, it's fine. You don't need to get a tattoo and change your hair. You, uh, we've got this amazing product and it's called Supreme and it's color protect and you will absolutely love it. So I now use that all the time. And I get so many people going, you don't need seven shoulders. Like, you're lying. I was like, I promise you, I do, come to my house. And everyone's welcome, you can come, you seem very nice and friendly and um, yeah that's what I use and it sort of changed my hair and I feel all like soft but not too soft you don't want very soft hair but you're not fluffy you don't want fluffy but you don't want crispy hair um I need to have a conversation with you about my relationship with fruit because I don't really believe in it I like a vegetable I've been known to run to a buffet run uh, in flip-flops which we all know is quite major but Fruit, I've never, I've never ever, has anyone ever woken up going, oh God, I fancy an apple. That doesn't happen. We have it, I make my kids eat it all the time. Try this orange. What about a pear? This looks ripe. Oh, baby, this is a plum. Annoying, but these puppies, I love. I'd almost do anything for a cherry, a really large, dark cherry, sort of bulbous, like a cherry that's the same size as my head. Not a small one, I'm not, insane but yeah so I do almost do anything for a chair I don't even know whether that's an interesting fact I also just while we're at it I'm in love with Marmite that's all 
I like, by the way, what I love, I can just tell the cameras now, there are two people here who just actually reacted rather brilliantly. You just went, all right, they took that on. Yeah, Marmite and cherries, but not together. And a mac and cheese. And a toasted cheese and ham sandwich. Or cheese and fried onions sandwich. I don't know whether you've ever had that in one of those toasties. It's extraordinary. Even if you're slightly hungover, just make it. Game changer, change your life. You might burst into tears. Get ready, before you do it, have some sort of tissues. Phone a friend, tell them to be prepared because suddenly you'll think, why was I ever eating anything else? Especially fruit, other than a cherry. Circle of life, I think I brought that round. Uh, so the fifth thing I have to tell you is I am 46 years old and I don't think I've ever had a glass of water. I don't like it. I don't, I don't really like liquid, but I especially don't like water. I, find, I get quite angry about it. I, I find it offensive. All clear and pure and annoying and tasteless, tasteless. And the more... <laughs> James is in charge of my hair and is crying with laughter. Water is both arrogant and, yeah, it's, it's cocky. It's like, come on, we always read, you have to drink two litres. Have you ever had to try, if I had to drink two litres of water, it would start coming out of my ears. I don't really like, I mean, I like a fizzy drink. I like a diet fizzy drink, delicious. I like a decaffeinated coffee. I can't have caffeine because I once had caffeine. I was up for 14 days. Um, I was, it was weird. I was like, I, was not, I hate roller coasters. It was like being on a roller coaster. Um, yeah, water, annoying. Annoying, I'm on the tube a lot and often there are people there, especially in the summer with those massive bottles of water. I don't know what that's saying to me, that they're healthy, they've got good skin. I've got bad skin, I think. I've never taken my makeup off, I'd never know. As long as it's orange, I don't care. Orange skin, I, let's start a campaign, say no to water. Have a Diet 7 up, have a cup of tea, have a shot of tequila. Or be a bit thirsty, be parched. I love parched, parched makes me funnier. The end. I hope, I hope you've learnt something. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want more things from the pool, you know, content stuff, uh, you have to click and subscribe and it's fun. You won't be grumpy about it.